If you've ever experienced random stutters, inconsistent frame times, or delayed input, even with solid hardware, chances are your system isn't fully optimized at the interrupt level. In today's video, we're diving into something most people never touch, MSI Utility V3, a tool that allows you to control how your hardware communicates with Windows using message signal-based interrupts. This video marks the start of a brand new series called Tweaking Tools, where we explore utilities that unlock hidden performance potential in your system. Let's get into it. Before we start tweaking, here's a quick rundown to give you some context. Every hardware device in your system, whether it's your GPU, storage controller, network card, or sound card, needs a way to get the CPU's attention when it has something to do. This is handled through a system called interrupts. By default, many of these devices use what's called line-based interrupts, an older method where multiple devices share a single interrupt line. The downside? When several devices compete for attention at once, it can create latency, stutters, or micro-hitches, especially noticeable in real-time tasks like gaming or audio processing. Message Signaled Interrupts, or MSI, offer a more modern and efficient alternative. Instead of relying on shared lines, MSI allows devices to send signals directly through memory, which reduces contention and makes communication with the CPU faster and smoother. This can lead to better responsiveness and a more stable experience under load. That's where MSI Utility V3 comes in. It's a lightweight, portable tool that makes it easy to see which of your devices support MSI and lets you enable it with just a few clicks. No digging through the registry or dealing with guesswork. To be clear, this isn't some magic tweak that will suddenly boost your FPS by 20%. The goal here is about quality, not quantity, smoother frame delivery, fewer latency spikes, and overall cleaner frame pacing, especially when your system is under stress. Step 1. Download and extract MSI Utility V3. Begin by visiting the Guru 3D forums or any other reputable mirror sites to download the MSI Utility V3. Once the download is complete, you'll receive a zip file containing the program. You can extract it to any location on your computer, but it's best to choose somewhere easily accessible, such as your desktop or a dedicated tools folder. This way, you'll have quick access to it whenever needed, as you may find yourself using it again in the future. There's no need for a formal installation process with this utility. It's designed to be a portable application, so it runs directly from the extracted folder without altering your system or requiring any setup. Right-click the executable file and choose Run as Administrator. This step is important as it ensures the utility has the necessary permissions to interact with your system's hardware. Once the program opens, you'll be greeted by an interface displaying a list of all the devices connected to your computer. Each device will have various details listed, including columns for MSI mode, IRQ priority, and additional information related to device settings and configurations. This interface allows you to easily manage and optimize device handling by adjusting the values associated with each one. Step 2. Identify key devices. When working with MSI Utility V3, it's crucial to focus on the devices that are responsible for real-time operations, such as your GPU, storage controller, and network adapter. These are the components that benefit most from adjustments in interrupt handling, which can potentially improve performance or responsiveness. However, it's important to proceed with caution and avoid making changes to system-critical devices, like the chipset or USB controllers, unless you are familiar with how these adjustments might impact your system. To determine which devices are currently using line-based interrupts, take a look under the MSI column in the utility. If this box is unchecked, it means the device is still relying on traditional line-based interrupts, which could be less efficient compared to the newer MSI, Message Signaled Interrupts method. This is a key indicator of which devices might benefit from enabling MSI. Step 3. Enable MSI Mode Now that you've identified the devices you want to adjust, 
The next step is to enable MSI Message Signaled Interrupts mode. Start by checking the box under the MSI column for both your GPU and network adapter. These are the devices that will see the most benefit from switching to MSI mode, as it can reduce latency and improve performance during intensive tasks. For the priority settings, it's best to select High for the GPU, as this ensures that the graphics card gets the highest priority in interrupt handling. For the network adapter and other devices, you can leave the priority as Undefined or select Normal, depending on what you feel is best for your system's configuration. After making these changes, click Apply to save the settings and then restart your computer to ensure the changes take effect. Once your system boots up, those devices will now be using MSI, which could lead to better system responsiveness and potentially smoother performance in gaming or other resource-heavy tasks. Step 4. Verify changes and test. Once your system has rebooted, open MSI Utility V3 again to confirm that the changes you made have been successfully applied. Check the MSI column for the devices you modified. Your GPU and network adapter should now show MSI enabled. The box should be checked. This verifies that the interrupt handling for these devices has switched to message signaled interrupts, which should improve system responsiveness. To test the effectiveness of these changes, you can use tools like LatencyMon or CapFrameX. These programs are designed to monitor system performance and identify latency issues, providing you with concrete data on how your system is performing post-adjustment. Alternatively, if you're more of a hands-on tester, simply load up your most demanding game or run a GPU-heavy application you should notice more consistent frame pacing with fewer stutters or input delays, especially during intense GPU load scenarios. This improvement is most noticeable in situations where there's high demand on both the GPU and CPU, such as in competitive gaming or when rendering complex graphics. Before we wrap up, it's important to know how to revert any changes in case something doesn't feel right. If you notice unusual behavior after enabling MSI mode, like audio pops, driver crashes, or devices disappearing, don't panic. Just reopen MSI Utility V3, find the same devices you modified, and uncheck the MSI box next to each one. Then click Apply and restart your PC. That will instantly return those devices to their original line-based interrupt mode exactly as before the tweak. It's also a good idea to export or screenshot your current settings before changing anything, so you can restore your baseline quickly if needed. MSI Utility doesn't modify system files permanently, so everything can be reversed safely in seconds. That's it for this episode of Tweaking Tools. You've just learned how to optimize hardware interrupts using MSI Utility V3 a small but powerful tweak that can make your system feel more responsive. In the next episodes, we'll look at more tools that help refine your system for performance, including NVIDIA Profile Inspector, ISLC, and other underrated utilities. If you found this helpful, keep your tweaks organized, test methodically, and always back up settings before changing system-level parameters. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.